Hi, I'm Eliza and today I'm going to be testing your auditory processing which means not only how well you can hear but rather how well you can take in and understand the things that you can hear, okay? So to begin, I would like to see how well you can tell the difference between some similar sounds so I'm going to make some sounds with my hands and I want to see if you can tell the difference between them, okay? So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Thank you. And here is your first sound. Can you hear the sound? Good. And here is your second sound. Can you hear this? Good. And can you tell the difference between the two sounds? Good. Okay. So now I'm going to make either sound number one or sound number two, and I want you to tell me which one you can hear. Okay? Are you ready? Good. Good. This is sound number one. Good. This is sound number two. Good. This is number two again. Good. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number one. And number two. Good. Now I'm going to introduce a third sound to make things a little bit more challenging. Here is your third sound. Can you hear this? Good. And can you tell the difference between this sound and the other two sounds? Okay, good. So, which sound is this? That's number three. Good. Good. That's number one. Good. Number two. Number one. Number three, number one, number three, number two, good, number two, number three, number one, good, and number two. And out of those three sounds, which ones sound the most similar to you? Good, okay. Now I'm going to make some different sounds. I'm going to tap on some different objects. And once again, I want to see how well you can tell the difference between the sounds. So here is object number one. Can you hear this sound? this is number one. And here is number two. Can you hear this? Good. And can you tell the difference between this and number one? Okay. So just tell me which sound I'm making, one or two. This is number two. Good. This is number one. This is number one again. Good. Good. This is number two. This is number two. introduce a third object. So this is the third sound. 
Can you hear this? And can you tell the difference between this and the other two sounds? Okay, let's recap. This is number one. This is number two. And this is number three. Okay, which sound is this? It's number two. And this? It's number one. And this? It's number three. And this? Number one, and this. Number three, and this. Number three, once again, and this. It's number two, okay. And out of the three sounds, which sound the most similar to you? Okay, and did you find this round easier, harder, or the same as the first round? Okay, now we have some more sounds, so this is your first sound. Can you hear this sound? Okay, good. This is sound number two. Can you tell, can you hear this sound, first of all? And can you tell the difference between this sound and the first sound? Okay, good. Now I want you to tell me which sound you can hear, one or two. This is sound number one. Good, that's sound number one once more. Good, this is sound number two. And now This is sound number two once more. Now I'm going to introduce a third sound. Here it is. Can you hear this sound? Okay. And can you tell the difference between this sound and the other two sounds? Okay, good. Now, please tell me which sound you can hear. That's sound number three. Good, that's sound number two. Good, that's number one. That's number two. Good. This is number one. Sound number three. Number one. And number two. Good. Which of those three sounds sounded the most similar to you? Okay, and out, and which of the rounds did you find easier out of the three rounds? Which was the most easy, the most difficult, or were they the same? 
Okay, great. Thank you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read uh, a few very short stories and then I'm going to ask you some questions about those stories. So I want you to pay close attention and try to remember the details of the stories, okay? So, the first story is about a little girl and her doll. So, it says, Curly is my favourite doll. She comes with me all the time. Mum took me to the carpet shop. I left Curly in the shop. I cried when I could not find Curly. We went back and the man gave her to me. Okay, so now the questions. What was the doll called? Was it Carly, Chrissy, Kathy, or Curly? Good, it was Curly. Which shop did they go to? To the paper shop? the carpet shop or the toy shop? Okay, it was the carpet shop. Where was Curly left? In the car, in the street, or in the shop? Good, it was in the shop. What did the girl do when she lost the doll? She shouted, cried, or went to sleep? Okay, good, she cried. And finally, who gave the doll back to the little girl? Do you remember? Good. It was the man from the carpet shop. Very well done. Okay. For the next um, story, I'm going to make some sounds with my hands like this. Just as some background noise, okay? So... The next story, oops, let me just find it, is called Sports Day. Okay, so we had a sports day at our school. John won the egg and spoon race. Jill won the sack race. We had ice cream at playtime. Tom won the long jump. Anna and Raj won the three-legged race. The last race was for mums and dads. Okay, now for the questions. Who won the egg and spoon race? Was it Jill, John, Jack, or Jade? It was John. John won the egg and spoon race. Who won the sack race? Was it Jill, John, Jack, or Jade? It was Jill. Jill won the sack race. Which two children won the three-legged race? Was it John and Jill, Anna and Raj, or Tom and John? It was Anne and Raj. Well done. And... When did the children have ice cream? Was it at playtime, at lunchtime, or after school? It was at playtime. And finally, who was the last race for? Do you remember? It was for mums and dads. Good job, okay. Now for the next story going to make some background noise using this object. So the story is called First Day at School. I said goodbye to mum at the school gate. Our teacher, Mrs. King, was waiting for us. I sat next to a boy called Jack. I drew a picture of my mum. Drac and I played with the Lego. Mrs. King told us a story. She is very kind. Okay. Who said goodbye at the school gate? 
Was it mum, dad, gran or grandad? It was mum. Good. Who did the girl sit next to? Was it John, Jim, Jazz or Jack? Okay, it was Jack. A boy called Jack. What did the girl draw a picture of? Was it dad, brother, mum or sister? It was mum, mum. Okay, now who told a story? Do you remember who told a story? Good, it was Mrs. King. And what did Jack play with? Do you remember? What did Jack play with? Good. He played with Lego. He played with Lego. Okay. We have one more story. For this one, I'm going to get a bit closer and whisper it to you. Okay. So, this story is called At the Park. Okay. So, At the Park. On Saturday, my family went to the park. I went on the slide. My sister went on the swing. We both went on the seesaw. Mum made us a picnic. We fed the ducks. We flew kites. Okay, that is the end of that story. So, who went on the swing? Was it mum, dad, my sister or my brother? Good. It was my sister. Who made a picnic? Mum, dad, my sister, or my brother? It was mum. What did the children feed? Was it hens, ducks, fish, or the dog? It was the ducks. What did the children fly? Was it a plane, a kite? or a flag? Good, it was a kite. And who went to the park? Do you remember who went to the park? Good, it was my family. My family went to the park. Very well done. Okay, now for the final exercise, I am going to whisper some words to you and I want you to repeat them back in reverse order. So if I say three, two, one, then I want you to say one, two, three, okay? I'll whisper some of them and some of them I'll say at this volume, okay? So are you ready? Good. Fifteen, twenty-one, eleven. Good. Nine, twenty-five, seventeen. Good. Thirty-eight, eleven, twenty-five. Now I'm going to say some words that might not be numbers, okay? Orange, green, blue. Good. Pink, purple, silver. Okay, good.
Argentina, Nigeria, Ukraine. Good. New Zealand, Italy, Mexico. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to say three words and I want you to tell me how many of the three words I'm about to say are colours. Okay? Red, green, history. Good. Two of them are colours. Blue, tiger, yellow. Good. Two of them were colours. Poppy, brown, silver. Good. Well done. Now, I want you to tell me how many of the three words I'm about to say are countries, okay? Portugal Geography Flamingo Good, just one Notebook Lebanon Turquoise Good, well done Costa Rica Peru Egypt Good, okay, well done that will be the end of our tests today. You've done a very wonderful job of following along with my instructions and I will get in touch with you with the results of today's examination. Okay, great. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will speak to you soon. Okay, thank you.